you're looking for David Nika, chances are you'll find him here at the Ringside Gym in Hamilton. Because this is where New Zealand's best young amateur boxer starts most days. If not training himself, then training others. Nice work, nice work. That's keep it going. 10 to go, 10 seconds. Good work, good work. That's it, good stuff. Time. There wasn't really any, any tournaments coming up, so I kind of needed to, something to keep myself occupied. My coach had a couple of clients, and he, he was happy to hand them on to me, And he's because um, he's, got, he's got a lot on his plate uh, looking after the gym and all. Control, control. But it's just a little bit different to see how other people work and how they um, put up with the pressure and the stress and stuff. And um, it's, it's, I've really enjoyed today. It seems like a natural fit. The first thing you notice is his energy. Work hard, work hard, work hard. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Looking good. Here we go, big five, big five, big five. That time. All right, good stuff. The second is his love of boxing. He strikes you straight away as someone that thinks about nothing but boxing. Uh, his single-minded determination to, to box and to do well. If anything, he's probably been the most, most consistent person I know in that respect. You know, it's just it's just the same. Uh, every day is the same. It's about boxing. It's yeah, that's you know, which is impressive, right? So impressive that he was signed up for the Sky Next program at just 18 and fresh out of Hamilton Boys High School. It's been a uh, really cool experience being a part of the Sky Next team. They've um. They've given me the opportunity to just focus on what I want to do, focus on my sport and my development without having to worry about holding down a job and um, getting funding from somewhere, which is really taking the weight off. Talk of weight is a constant in his life, having to keep his still growing six foot four inch frame under 81 kilograms means regular trips to the nutritionist. Today's session with Lillian Morton also includes a massage. Recovery is crucial. Um, I'd say with his training volume, is actually eating enough, making sure he's got enough energy availability. You know, he's still a young man, he's still kind of growing and developing, so you've got to make sure you've got enough on board. But it's no issues with David's body comp ever. But it's not all about body composition and training. David is still a teenager, and he still gets to hang out at home with his mate Zach Schuster-Barton, working on a couple of projects, like finding food for their pet frogs. And the other big project, turning the family garage into a movie room. Yeah. Gonna have a big TV there, couches, and I've I've already bought it up. Besides, it was all it was all just naked, and I'm gonna put a roof up. Uh, we've got the wiring for the downlights, and we're gonna carpet it up, and it's gonna be cosy, a nice tight tight space. But frogs and TV rooms are just a diversion. David's job is boxing, and it's a job he's still learning. I've learned a lot more about myself and about my body, like you, you have a lot more time to kind of focus on what's actually happening and because, because you're only active um, so much of the day you can really, you can really um, focus on your training and your recovery and it's, it's, a, it's, a whole, it's a different lifestyle entirely. A lifestyle that means he's never far from the gym, working out with groups and then on his own with trainer Rick Ellis. It's not an ordinary life. David Nika doesn't have ordinary goals. I want to win a gold medal at the Glas uh, Glasgow Commonwealth Games. I want to win a gold medal at the Rio Olympics, and I want to go on to be um, a top professional. So that's that's pretty much where I'm where I'm headed. <laughs>